Birmingham exchanging passes with Forrester. They give it away to Cork City side, who were unbeaten until last week in the SSE Electricity League. Carney with the cross, and O'Sullivan at the second attempt puts it in. And he's put Cork City ahead against the run of play. Mark O'Sullivan, who'd gone five games without scoring. His last goal against Shamrock Rovers at the beginning of April, and he's done it here again against another of the top Dublin sides. It's Pats nil, City 1. Birmingham to Forrester. A lovely through ball to pick out Lee Lynch. And that's a fine challenge by Darren Dennehy. Great defending by the big court centre-half. Keith Fahey. Ger O'Brien with the cross. And it's touched home by Daryl Kavanagh, but he drifted into an offside position. And that one won't count. So the cheers of the home fans, just a little stifled here at the Stadium of Light. Ger O'Brien. Nice ball inside by Kavanagh. Down goes Birmingham. And the referee points to the spot, and it's a penalty. Porrick Sutton in no doubt that that challenge by Brian Lenehan was enough to put the Pats full back off. And Conan Byrne with the chance to equalise, and that's a brilliant finish. A penalty that no goalkeeper could save, least of all Mark McNulty in the city goal. It's 1-1. In comes the cross. Kenny Brown battling, Forrester. Back to him. Plenty of time to get the cross in here. And Kenny Brown is there. Hasn't scored this season. A rare goal for the Waterford man. And St. Pat's have turned things around. They lead by two goals to one. Brown just finding a pocket of space. Cork City trying to come back into this in the driving rain. Morrissey to Billy Dennehy. And on his weaker right foot, still testing Brendan Clark in the St. Pat's goal. Is Sullivan beaten to it by O'Brien. Oh, that's a terrible back pass. Chance here for Cork. Late in the game, it's 2-2. Well, they could have stolen a couple of points here from St. Pat's. And it's the substitute, Rob Lahan, who has come on to round goalkeeper Clark and make it all square with just a few minutes to go. Pats two, Cork City two. Pats running out of ideas. But here's Killian Brennan. Good run by him. Daryl Kavanagh, and Conan Byrne has stolen in. Oh, a terrible mistake by the Cork City skipper, John Dunleavy, who didn't push out in the line with his defenders, and Byrne gets his eighth goal of the season to give St. Pat's all three points in a thrilling second half. There goes the final whistle, a five-goal thriller in Inchicore. Pat's winning it by 3-2. I thought we played reasonably well in the first half. Um, we've given a sloppy goal away and saying that. Um, but I, thought, I didn't think we've played too badly. We just needed to tidy up where we're getting our chances from and a bit of movement with one or two of the lads. And I think in fairness to the second half, I think we've outplayed Cork. Um, and we've, I think we've deserved to win the game. I can't fault my lads for effort and desire. A lot of question marks over last week that we weren't a strong team, whatever. You know, I think to come to the home of the champions and give a performance like that, we were standing, we're disappointed because two individual mistakes you know, probably cost us and, you know, a very dubious penalty we felt.